If you're going to TJ Maxx and you aren't buying these 17 items, you are making a huge mistake. Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is KB and I'm your interior design fairy godmother. I help you achieve the luxe look for less and today we're talking all about TJ Maxx. But before we get into it, I'd love for you to smash that subscribe button because I have new videos just like this every Monday and Friday and I'd love to have you as a member of our community. But let's start about these 17 finds. When I think TJ Maxx, I think beauty, I think clothing, but they actually have tons of of amazing finds when it comes to the home. First, I want to talk about cleaning. In the number one spot, we have the sponge caddy. So this is for the scrub daddy. It is one of the hottest sponges on the market. Yes, there's a hot sponge on the market because they work oh so well. But I hate leaving my scrub daddy just sitting in my sink or on my countertop because it can stain it. That's why I love this caddy. You just stick your scrub mommy or your scrub daddy on there and you are good to go. At TJ Maxx, it is $2.99. And at Lowe's, it is almost $7. And on Amazon, it is almost $10. $10. So you're really getting a good deal at TJ Maxx. While you're in the cleaning section, you also want to look at all of the different sprays because they have brand names there. One of my favorite brands is the Pink Stuff brand, and they actually have this Pink Stuff Super Set. It is $29.99 at TJ Maxx. You get two tubs of the Pink Stuff, you get one of the cleaning wands, and then you get four attachments for that cleaning wand. This is a great housewarming gift. This is a great cleaning setup that is just going to keep giving, giving, and giving for months and months and months. While at other stores, this is almost $50. So it's only $30 at TJ Maxx and it really is wonderful and my store was full of these kits And if you don't want to get this kit of the pink stuff They do have the standalone sprays and toilet bowl scrubbers in case you want to clean like that Now this one is a recommendation and hack in one next time you go to TJ Maxx I want you to pick up those wool dryer balls Not only are they super affordable for a set of four or of six But these are really great not just for your everyday laundry, but for bringing back your textiles to life So say you have a frumpy duvet or a frumpy pillow and it's just looking sad and flat all you have to do is throw it into the dryer with these wool dryer balls and it will kind of beat it and re-fluff it without you having to throw your duvet on the floor or put in tons of energy to get it nice and fluffy oftentimes people think they need to buy new textiles but in reality all they need are dryer balls from tj maxx and the last cleaning item you certainly want to pick up from the TJ Maxx cleaning section is poo-pourri. So poo-pourri is egregiously expensive elsewhere. It is $8.99, which I just think is a bit much for poop spray because when you think of like Glade or Glad or whatever it's called, it's, you know, $1.99, $2.99. And of course, this is like an artisanal spray, but $8.99 just seems like a lot of money. Well, it is half that price at TJ Maxx. It is $4.99. I did buy it. I gave it a try. That's totally TMI, but it does work and it's definitely worth that $4.99 price tag. Next, let's move into the kitchen and organization section of TJ Maxx because this is by far my favorite section. First up, we have glass food containers. So I'm all about glass food containers right now, but they are so expensive. These are one of those things that if you send me home with food, I will steal your glass container because I don't want to pay for them. But don't worry, at TJ Maxx, they are $3. I saw two different brands in the clearance section. You have the totally glass around. You do have a plastic top, but I really have not been able to actually find a brand yet that has a plastic top besides Pyrex. So I was very, very impressed with these online for the same size. It is actually $10 for this brand. And again, that just seems like a lot for an itty bitty glass container. So I love these prices. But of course, if you don't want to play these prices, just go get mason jars and use those for storage instead. Next, we have the viral rotating food tray. And this is really useful because it's a lazy season for the inside of your fridge. So instead of having to move your milk and your drinks and all that stuff, it's just a lazy season. So you can rotate it around and around. So on Amazon, this is $25, but at TJ Maxx, it is only $13. So you are saving quite a bit of money. You can even buy two and really just about spend the same amount with like all the taxes and fees and all of that good stuff. So I love that. These are really great in your refrigerator. And this is something that I would definitely, definitely splurge on. So I'm even happier we can get it from TJ Maxx. Now let's talk wrap organizers. And when I found these in TJ Maxx, my mind was blown because I've shared them from Amazon before thinking it really was the best price. So so this wrap organizer from TJ Maxx is black. They normally only come in wooden colors, which is fine, but sometimes you want something that goes with like your design style. So I love that this comes in black and white at this store. These are $14.99 here, which is amazing when you hear that Amazon price, which is $35. And I thought that $35 was this deal. These are really great. One thing I will say, I will say, is that the ones from Amazon are a little bit shorter and they fit better in my cabinets or in my cabinet drawers. It seems like my drawers just are 
are a little bit shallow. So these ones did not fit and I had to take them back to the store. But if you have deeper drawers than I do, this is really a steal. And not only do they have them for aluminum foil and your parchment paper and your plastic wrap, but they also have them for all of your different bags. So your gallon, your quart, whatever, all of your snack bags can fit in this one and they both fit together in one drawer. So you don't have to take up tons of space in your kitchen. You can just throw them all in one drawer and keep it moving. And of course, TJ Maxx has tons of amazing kitchen items. You'll see mugs, you'll see cutting boards, you'll see gadgets. A lot of the times those things are very comparable to what you'd pay online, but something that is almost always cheaper is anything by the brand OXO. I love the brand OXO. I hate their price tags. They're very much so akin to the prices you'd see at like the container store when you're buying directly from them, but they're almost always discounted at TJ Maxx and rightfully so. So if you're looking for like those plastic containers for your flour, if you're looking for really high quality utensils for cooking your food, if you're looking for high quality gadgets, OXO is always discounted at TJ Maxx and you're almost always guaranteed to get super high quality. Now we're moving into section three, which is like home decor, for furniture, lighting, all that good stuff. So let's talk furniture first. So when you are shopping at a TJ Maxx, if you do not know the brand name of that furniture piece, I want you to skip it. But brand names you will often see include Ralph Lauren, Tahari, brands like that. And those are brands that you see at stores like Home Goods and other reputable retailers. So if you see these brands on Wayfair's website, on Jocelyn Main's website, on Kathy Cole's website, you can go ahead and buy those from TJ Maxx as well. And even though I said don't buy anything if you don't know the brand brand name. A lot of the time, if their furniture is wooden and it says 100% wooden, you are getting a good deal there just because those prices are way reduced as compared to other stores. Now, something I never want you to pass up on in TJ Maxx has to do with lighting. So we're going to talk about lighting generally in a second, but I first want to draw your attention to these USB lamps. Now I've shared tons of USB lamps here on my channel and rightfully so because they're amazing for adding lighting to places where there is not an easily accessible plug. So a dining table, a coffee table, a bathroom. So these are great. These are $12.99 and they had so many different shapes and colors. On Amazon, these are $30. $50, that's how much I paid for them. And while I will say the ones that I've personally purchased from Amazon, I think look a little bit more high end. If you want more of a simple style, you cannot beat the price here at TJ Maxx. Again, they had traditional styles, more modern and contemporary styles. So I urge you to go in there and try them out. And a lot of them are actually charged in the store. So you can give them a try in the store to make sure they're going to give off the kind of lighting you actually want in your home. But speaking of lighting, this is one of the best hidden gems of TJ Maxx. So you're able to find lamps from brands like Pacific Coast Lighting, Hudson Lighting, all of those are really luxe, high quality lighting companies that you can't even buy without an interior designer a lot of the times at TJ Maxx. Sure, they're lamps from like last season, but they are so high quality. I actually found this dome lamp. I brought it home. It was $99 from Pacific Coast Lighting. I found it online. It was so much more expensive before and it's really wonderful. The metal is beautifully made. It's so heavy. I literally had to take two trips um, with my first round of TJ Maxx items and then with this lamp because it was so heavy and so wonderfully made. Now I wanna turn your attention to picture frames and mirrors. So a lot of the Nicole Miller picture frames at TJ Maxx looks super high end. They're very heavy, they're super well made, they have high quality mats in them. And I definitely say pick them up because at the end of the day, they just look so much better than the Ikea frames. And it's a great way to frame a small piece of art or a postcard or something that you got and you want it to have a little bit more oomph than just like a simple black metal frame. Same thing goes with the mirrors. They have really fun squiggly mirrors and hammered mirrors and ornate mirrors. Definitely sift through them. I know it can sometimes be hard to find good mirrors in TJ Maxx because they're hidden behind all of that that atrocious artwork, but I promise you they are there. So just sift through it all and I promise you're gonna find something great. And something I didn't even realize TJ Maxx even had was a high quality tray. So in the decor section, they actually have tons of trays down at the bottom. So you have to get down on your knees and sift through the things down there, but they have really high quality trays for your island, for your coffee table, things like that. The ones that I were finding looked like they were metal, but they're made to look like wood. They were very, very intricate in detail. It reminded me of ones that I would see at an R house or a pottery barn. So stay on the lookout for those as well. And while a lot of the home decor at TJ Maxx or Marshall seems very young, or it seems like something that was popular a few seasons ago, which makes sense with how they buy things, they also do have a lot of really great rustic pieces. So if you're into the vintage inspired or the modern organic, I 
I definitely want you to head to TJ Maxx. They have really great rustic planters that are going for $12.99, $14.99. They are all under $20. And you don't just have to use these for your really faux florals. You can use these for your kitchen utensils, just have the part that you actually would like cook with facing upwards. You can use them with like a lampshade to make a DIY lamp. The opportunities are truly endless with these planters. What I will say is if you're going to the decor section and you aren't seeing these planters, go over to the next aisle where the garden items are and you're going to find those planters. That's a hack you can use in absolutely every home decor store. You're always going to find vases and planters for much cheaper in the garden section than you will in the home decor proper section. So if you're going to TJ Maxx and you're saying, mm, this is a little bit young, this is a little bit like Shein vibes, that's okay. Just go over to the next aisle and I promise you, you're going to find something super high quality. And I want to finish off today's video by talking about pillows and textiles. So normally when you think TJ Maxx, you think pumpkin pillows or Easter pillows, which honestly I find to be very, very cute. But I want you to look out for particular materials. A lot of the times they will have leather pillows and suede pillows in the lumbar form at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So a lot of the time, the normal square pillows, they will just be like your basic run of the mill pillows, but their lumbar pillows are the more luxurious ones. They have 100 percent leather they have 100 percent suede you just need to know what to look out for a lot of these though they're only going to have the design on one side so you might shy away from those because you're like hey it might not be as luxurious but those actually tend to be the highest quality pillows you can pick up at a tj maxx and when you're shopping for pillows if you're not looking for suede or leather you're just trying to figure out if it's a high quality pillow a lot of the times the higher quality pillows at tj maxx will have down inserts whether or not you like down they will have down inserts so i actually want you to put your hands on all of the pillows and this will kind of help you assess whether it is a high quality pillow or not but a lot of the times I will say unless you're doing the leather or this way just head to your local home goods because home goods does have better pillows even though they are affiliated companies same thing goes for the blankets a lot of the times you're finding the plush blankets the chenille blankets I want you to skip out on those but if you do see something that is woven or something that says 100% wool sometimes they will actually wrap them in plastic in a TJ Maxx oddly enough so look out for that even though that's something that ordinarily you might shy away from and those are the higher quality items but just stick to the the neutrals the simple patterns the plaid and the checkered patterns and kind of skip out on the more whimsical like seasonal ones unless that's specifically what you're looking for but now you know exactly what you should buy on your next trip to tj maxx i hope you're walking away from today's video feeling like you've unlocked a whole other portion of the store because that's totally how i felt when i went into the store most recently don't just look at clothes don't just look at beauty you're going to save so much money at TJ Maxx if you start shopping these separate sections. I will also link some of my favorite items from TJ Maxx down below because you can shop on TJ Maxx online now and if you didn't know that now you know. If you liked today's video please consider smashing that subscribe button because I have new videos every Monday and Friday and I'd love to have you as a member of our community. Until next time have a beautiful day.